my capstone assignment. Um, so I'll let you know a little bit about myself. This is my daughter, Giselle. Basically, she is basically um, what I do everything for, why I'm going to school. Um, a little bit about me. Um, I was a heroin addict uh, for 10 years, um, on and off. Uh, during that, I got pregnant. Um, and, uh, well, luckily, I got pregnant right before, or I got clean once, <laughs> and my body basically said, you're healthy to have a baby. So uh, I stayed clean the whole time I was pregnant. Um, two or three months after I had her, I started using again. Um, and uh, a year after, she was about a year old, 14 months old, and I gave her to my mother. Uh, my mom kept her away from me for about a year, um, even with me trying to contact with her and stuff like that, um, and I wasn't allowed. Um, I have her again today. Um, I've had her for about a year. Um, I have 16 months clean. Um, so I decided to go back to school. Uh, I want her to want more out of life than I ever wanted out of life. Uh, so I think that going to school and uh, making something out of myself will make her proud of me. And want to do more for herself. So this class, uh, out of all of my classes, I put off to the side. Um, I believe I'm better at math. Um, stuff where there's like a direct answer. Uh, and I can finish. Um, at the beginning of the class, uh, I just I realized what all my struggles are. I'm a procrastinator. Um, I have no time management, and my organization skills are horrible. Um, and and that's in every aspect of my life. I push everything off as much as I can um, until the absolute last minute that I have to do it. Um, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, put things that are important, um, at the top of my priorities list, uh, which is obvious in the last 10 years of my life. So, key topics in this class that were very helpful to me were the habits assignment, the 32 day commitment, and the weekly assessment. Uh, the habits assignment really shed light on what bad habits were in my life and what good habits I had. Although there were very few good habits, um, the assignment basically just it brought everything to the forefront and uh, it made it easier for me to let go of bad habits. Um, in the 30 day commitment, I realized that uh, I was really slacking in this class. Um, I made a commitment to finish my assignments uh, for this class, which I did not completely do. There is one assignment that I did not finish. Hopefully I can finish before today. I'm just eating on a budget one, which is I'm not a real, not a cooker. So um, that was hard. I did finish my notes, though, which I was really struggling with um, at the beginning of the class. So how uh, about that? And then the weekly assessments, uh, I would turn, the, I would, I really appreciated the weekly assessments. I wrote exactly how I felt, I was completely honest and completely raw about how horrible I was doing in the class and those assessments. And um, with those, it documented, you know, where I was slacking. And then towards the end of my weekly assessments, I realized that it was showing all of my progress. I was really proud of that. Um, with these uh, assignments came my success. Um, I had self-awareness. Um, I knew where I was lacking and uh, what I needed to work on. Um, I noticed the drive and the commitment that I had in my life that um, I didn't think that I had. Um, I set goals for myself and um, I accomplished most of those goals. Um, I prioritize. I have a lot going on. Um, I'm in drug court, so most of my week is busy. Uh, I have school, I work, and I'm also a mother. 
So uh, usually, um, too much on my plate makes me fail, but pri prioritizing everything uh, really changed everything in my life. Um, I communicate better, um, which makes my life a lot easier. Uh, I realize that um, good communication with my teachers, with my counselors, with my daughter, with my family who has to help me with my daughter when I have to finish school. Like this last week was really hard um, and I didn't know how I was going to prioritize. I didn't know where school was going to fit in to the rest of my life, um, but it did. Uh, I had, you know, my counselors basically <laughs> told me that I didn't have to do drug court because um, this was not ever going to be part of my life. Uh, school was not a prior prioritization for me. Um, and, you know, the change showed um, a lot of growth for me. And so I got through this term, hopefully, after this grade. So yeah, that uh, is basically what I learned. Um, in this class about myself. Uh, I ap really appreciate this class because it, um, it was at the bottom of my to-do list. Uh, I took this class because I thought it was going to be really easy. Um, I didn't think that um, I was going to uh, have a problem in this class at all. <laughs> I thought that I was going to slide by and it wasn't going to be a big uh, issue for me, uh, which this was the hardest class that I took. And I think that it's because I um, didn't really believe in myself um, at all. And so the assignments were really hard. It's hard hearing uh, from yourself that you suck at something, really. <laughs> uh, you know, like that you're not, that you've, you know, put off so much of your life and, uh, and in turn, you're behind. So, like, I have to start from the bottom and uh, in trying to, like, be clean and <laughs> do, you know, be a mom, uh, it was hard telling myself that I sucked. But, like I said, with the weekly assessments, it really kind of, it set the stage, you know? Like, uh, I could tell myself what I wasn't doing and I could make that change and then in the next week I could go over uh, the change that I made. Um, also, I did not put it on here, but in the pre and post uh, self-assessment, I saw how I grew immensely. Um, things that I lacked in, um, I was excelling in. Uh, just having a lot more hope in myself than I've ever had. And uh, I don't know, I really appreciated this class out of all of my classes, because it's, I don't know, I learned a lot about myself, and I have to know who I am, you know, to help my daughter learn who she is. <laughs>